Hey, Dr. Mike here. Are you one of the three billion gamers in the world and want to fine-tune your stack to win? Well, stick around to find out how. You're listening to Live Foreverish, a show dedicated to helping you live just a little longer. Here's your hosts, Dr. Mike and Dr. Crystal Gosser. All right, welcome to Live Foreverish. Dr. Crystal, supplements for gamers, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, did you know the computer was late to the first day of school? No. It had why? a hard drive. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it up for Dr. Mike. Thank you. I'm done. Applause. I'm out. <laughs> Um, Yeah, so uh, just a real quick disclaimer. I'm not a gamer, but I am an expert in nutrition and supplementation, and and so are youth. I think we have some good ideas. I think so, and and I've been around some gamers. My husband used to game before we, like, took on kids, and uh, and now he— That shut it out. (laughs) That shut it all the way out. He was a computer gamer, and so gaming has changed. A lot of people think— you're sitting in front of the TV with the controllers. Yes, yeah. that's still happening. But a lot of the gamers, they are sitting at their desk staring at a computer screen with, oh, my goodness, the oh. mouse for the gaming. So mouse. there's more to it now. Oh, yes, yes. There's there's more to it. Um, but definitely countless hours are are spent in a lot of brain power. Yeah. A lot, three, three things, really. Gamers um, say that they need relentless focus precise motor skills and lightning fast reflexes yeah that sounds like a real sport <laughs> well i think it should be it should, i better get, I, I better mean, be careful i'm gonna get in trouble <laughs> i mean you have to uh, and i can't emphasize the brain power enough split second decisions yeah no i know my, um, my son plays this yes yeah. and it's a it's strategic too yeah you know it and i'll have to tell Anyone else that's listening, if your kids, if they're watching people game, because that's a thing as well, my son, he wants to just watch people. I'm like, nope, you better get out that controller. I want you gaming versus (laughs) watching someone else game. At least you can kind of build some skills. Yeah, Yeah, that's good. So we do have some suggestions. Um, You know, brain power, reaction time are important. Eye support is big. A lot of gamers, I don't know, they're, they're, you know, they're probably not too concerned about the eyes yet, but they really should be, mm-hmm. right? Um, so we're getting to um, I, just like basic nutritional add-ins that will, I guess they call it the stack, right? Yes. Yeah, your stack. We're gonna, we got some add-ins for you that I think can be helpful. So let's start with the brain, right? Yeah. As they said, relentless focus, Dr. Crystal. How are we going to help them with that? That's pretty extreme, but yes. That's what it says. Yes. Uh, well, so the first thing, the first nutrient, and we're just going to get straight into your stack. We're yeah, not let's do it. We're not messing around. Let's go to it. Brain. Uh, arginine. But a specific type of arginine that's more bioavailable, inositol stabilized arginine silicate. Okay, because arginine... So- can is the precursor to nitric oxide yes that's going to get more blood to your brain which mm-hmm. is that's you step number one for any brain health thing is you gotta have more you gotta have more oxygen in there exactly right yes. so arginine is great for that but arginine by itself doesn't really what it's not great no, bioavailability it can, um but it's Arginine is bioavailable. Can we make it even more bioavailable? Can we make it where it remains in the bloodstream longer? Because if you think about it, nitric oxide is produced on demand, right? So if you can keep that arginine around, then you can kind of make that arginine as you need it. So this more bioavailable form remains in the bloodstream for up to six hours. Yeah, it looks like... um this arginine um, silicate form is considered a nootropic. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, well, some people are, are starting to call it a nootropic. Yeah. It, when you think nootropics, and we do have some nutrients that, hands down, are you in can that say category, yeah. they are nootropics. But, you know, research is starting, at least some researchers that's exploring this, they're they're wanting to move it over into that category. Yeah, yeah. And again, just real quick, nootropics. These are these are more of the um, nu- nutrient add-ins that are giving you a quick performance enhancement, basically, right? Unlike other like blueberries, which is great for memory overall. Nootropics is more like I take it now and I, I have that I have that focus I need. That's better. Yeah, I, I also like to think of nootropics is. Uh, It's someone that's already healthy, right? So we're not looking for someone who's dealing with age-related cognitive decline or they're getting older. The nootropics is for that person who they 
they've had pretty good brain function, yeah. and they're just trying to take it to the next, next level, level. Which is these to game- be ahead of the pack. And this is what the gamers are trying to do. Now, everything Dr. Chris and I talk about is research-backed. So there's a study here, right? A human study. Tell us about that. Yeah, and so we added this. We do have research with playing video games. 60 men and women, double-blind study, uh, who played games five or more hours per week, which that is not much, much for a real gamer. Let me tell you. I could see five or more hours a night. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Hannah. That's what she does. Uh, but five or more hours per week, they found improved um, self-reported energy levels, diminished anger. My children need this. Fewer cognitive test errors among those who consume. And this was 1,600 milligrams of this stabilized arginine silicate. And this is for seven days compared with placebo. Yeah. So de- de- you got me stuck on the anger. Okay. So this is this is like because you know gamers they get really into it. And when something doesn't go right, you see you see videos, TikToks of them throwing their stuff around. I mean so is that what it kind of means? That's, is that less of that re- that impulse? That's what to do that, that means. And when I talk about my kids, I mean we go through a series of emotions gaming night. And we do this as a family. I'm not I, I wouldn't say I'm a gamer, but on Friday nights we will play as a family. We have a controller for everyone and um and they cry. They yell. They, they, and then they are laugh. Just, and then and they then, have fun, right? And then they <laughs> yell and they laugh. And, and so, yes, if we can control at least the anger part of, of the night, I think that would be a, a good point. Now, my, I keep saying my kids, this is not for children. Yeah, we're but, talking about the older gamers. Here. Right. We're talking yeah. about the older gamers. They get angry as well. Yeah. Another trial using the inositol stabilized arginine silicate. 26 gamers received 1,600 milligrams uh, prior to gaming, had better short-term and working memory, reaction time, reasoning, and concentration compared to to a placebo. So yeah. there you go. Right there, just with that one added, we're covering the relentless focus, motor skills, and lightning fast. Re- Look at that. Relentless and we still got focus. many more to go. Yes. Let's go on to your next one here. Um, how how often have we talked about ashwagandha? Now we're talking about it with gamers. I know. That's what I love about ashwagandha. Some people think it's an adaptogen herb. Um, and some people think ashwagandha is like, I'm just chill and I'm calm and relaxed. But we are seeing ashwagandha improves reaction time. Hmm. I so, like that. Well, at least in research. It, we're, we're also are learning more. You know, years ago, there was just ashwagandha. Now we have, there's some different um, formulas where different uh, key compounds in ashwagandha are standardized a little higher a little lower yes so so there may be some formulas now that are more of that calming sleepy side Mm -hmm. but other formulas may be more the reaction time is that what we're talking about we're talking about so this is not the 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 standardized ashwagandha that's research for sleep yeah this is one where you can see some of the more energizing benefits um, that's standardized to no less than 32% oligosaccharide. So I'm just giving you those numbers when you're looking. Look for that. For, yes, on look the, for on, that. On the label. Yeah. Um, but this was a, a crossover study. Ooh. So 20 that's males, good. but we always talk about once you cross it's it like over. It's kind of like 40. <laughs> I mean, I know, I, again, statisticians wouldn't allow us to say that, but. You know, it's kind of that because remember, a crossover you you become your own placebo. Yes. Uh, so two two hundred and fifty capsules or placebo twice daily, fourteen days, um, and and yes, so there was improved reaction time in these individuals. Again, and and so simple. I mean, ashwagandha. It's just it's good for you, anyways. Yes. For many for many different reasons, the arginine good for you, anyways. For mm-hmm. many. So again, we're not you know these these nutrient add-ins aren't. I mean, they're they're not like crazy stuff. These are safe, effective nutrients that that can be used by gamers. Choline's another one. Why would we want to with the oh, brain and choline? I love choline. Now, I I call choline a nootropic for sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You do too. Yeah. I, okay. I hands down, uh, choline feeds into the production of acetylcholine, which is I like to call it the memory neurotransmitter. Yeah. Um, and it, it regulates mood, muscle control, all of which are important for playing games. Yeah. No, it's, if you look at, you know, go online and just look up 
um, act reactions or actions of acetylcholine. Mm -hmm. And it's everything a gamer needs. Think about it. It's that it's the gamer neurotransmitter. <gasps> I just coined that. Alex, write that down. We have to down. look it up first before we, but you're claiming it. He's <laughs> claiming it, everyone. <laughs> I'm claiming it before we've done our research. No, come on now. But anyways, it does. It, acetylcholine really does fit a lot of that motor skill focus um, benefits. Yes. And so when we look at adding it in, uh, uh, you can take choline just by itself. You see this in even starting it prenatal in prenatal uh, nutritional formulas, helping to to support the, the developing the brain develop, yeah. of, of the infant uh, or of the fetus. But then you start seeing some of these more advanced forms of choline, uh, alpha glycerophosphorylcholine, yeah. alpha GPC. Alpha GPC. Yep. It's one of my favorites. It's, yep. Personally, it's my top form of choline. Uh, this this goes into that choline pathway to, to just help to synthesize the release of choline. So that's about 400 milligrams twice a day in research has been shown to be beneficial. And then there's another form that readily crosses the blood brain barrier. It's not my favorite, but it gets into the brain. Oh, <laughs> that's its claim to fame. And, and this one helps to support uh, the, the working memory uh, psychomotor vigilance uh, yeah. in in human volunteers. Is this is this the am I am I say it right? Is it the citocholine form? Yes. Yeah. Or do you see it on your labels as CD CDP choline? See, I think it's mm -hmm. CDP choline. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. But the one we like is the Alpha GPC. That's the one gamers should um, check out. Uh, you know, we got it. So that's your brain stuff right there. But you know, you, let me tell you, your you know gamers are staring at screens all a long time. Many I hours. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. And imagine, you know, some of them also probably work. So they're working looking at screens, and then their downtime is looking at screens. Mm -hmm. We have to talk about eye health. For sure. I think first thing first, if you have some gaming glasses, I just, I don't even know if they exist, but I know my <laughs> husband used to wear so. the blue blockers, the blue light blocking glasses um, to whenever he was yeah. gaming. Well, let me, add, okay, but I think a lot of gamers use the VR stuff now, right? Is that correct? So that's now really intense for the eyes, right? Because you're literally oh, yeah. putting, the, think about that. putting the blue light <laughs> right up against your eyes. That ha So that may be even a step up now of having to take care of eye health, right? Yes, yes, I would say so. Astaxanthin's first on the list. Love it. it. It it supports or relieves eye strain, that's yeah. the biggest thing. And and I like the, it helps with accommodation that the eye's ability to, if you're looking at something up close and then to be able to look, you know, away from something close and your eye can quickly, um, you know, change in order for you to be able to see something far away versus up close. So we like that. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's not a nootropic, but it does have neuroprotective effects. For, for the brain as well. Neuroprotective. It, cro it crosses the blood brain barrier. It gets into the brain. Yes. And so let's talk about dosing. Uh, don't fall for it when you are, the, the, if you're looking for a formula, that astaxanthin needs to be, I say at least six. Six. But yeah. four to 12 milligrams, six is a nice a nice dose for eyes. Yeah, the the uh, the the issue with astaxanthin is it on it's more on the expensive side as a nutrient, um, and so a lot of formulas they wanted to put it in there so they could say it was in there, but to keep the cost down, they you like one milligram. Yes, and that's just your that's not going to do anything. Yep. So I, I agree. I think six is the is the sweet spot for mm -hmm. astaxanthin. Um, astaxanthin um, often comes with. Other, what I call the, the, the pigmented antioxidants. These mm -hmm. are the, the traditionally great for your eyes, right? Um, the, the yellows and the reds and stuff like that. So lutein, zeaxanthin, and then a special form of that, mesozeaxanthin, yeah. um, also really important for protecting the retina. And we like these nutrients because they are also considered nootropics. So you get a, a dual action benefit from these carotenoids because remember that the retina, th that optic nerve, that's a it's a part of the brain. Your brain literally sticks into your eyes. <laughs> 
Well, that's close, close. Thank you. That was a nice visual, Doctor Mike. You know, I just <laughs> I saw it. I mean, the optic nerve the comes eyes. right off the brain and goes right into your eyes. Well, technically, yeah, that's it's what a, it's a direct highway. How's that? I like that. Okay. Um, and so, as these nutrients concentrate in the eye, in the macula, uh, we do see that they're concentrating in the brain as well and having that nootropic effect right um we see here obviously protecting the macula visual function photo stress recovery glare disability all these things which are very important to, to gamers yeah. yeah so that's and so and we talked about those uh those blue light blocking glasses yeah why not have this this is the internal didn't, didn't blue you, blockers didn't you wear those on a live show we did i probably once? did i have several pair at home and you put them on and i just couldn't stop laughing and kind of the whole show well, was lost because at that point. mine they were there yours are like this big you look <laughs> like a say. bee like you're like that was back in the day when they weren't that popular and there weren't many <laughs> options for style. So mine looked like the, the kind that the, I don't want to say the old folks wear, but you know the glasses that you wear it over your exactly glasses. It was exactly what they wear. It was, it was exactly that. The ones that you that, that you get. Uh, anyway, All yes. right, all right. We're giving it off track. <laughs> um, another uh, one that we talk about a lot, but it, it really great you should know is Maki Berry. That helps just to keep your eye nice and moist. Yeah, it, because if you're staring at a screen, especially right if you're up. not blinking yeah. enough, the eyes get dry. And that's my problem when I try to game with the family. My eyes, they're just so dry. And yeah. I just keep squeezing my eyes yeah. to and, and, get and lubrication. Then, and then reaching for the, the drops. That may, not, uh, that may help right then and there, but overall, if you keep using those, your eye kind of figures out, well, maybe I don't have to make my own moisture and tears. Right, yeah. so it's better to do something more natural like uh, maki berry, yeah, about sixty milligrams. Yes. that's about right, mm -hmm. and that's just going to help um, with extended screen time when mm -hmm. you're gaming. Um, so there, so brain and eyes, a lot of good suggestions there. Just overall, what what are some other just uh, wrapping it up that you would suggest? Yeah, so vitamin D, top oh, of yeah. the list, mm -hmm. uh, because you're not getting outside, so you want to make sure. Uh, you have adequate vitamin D, melatonin okay. to help your body uh, come down when it needs to. Yes, to support that circadian rhythm. All the, the exposure to the light stops, uh, blocks the production of melatonin. We, we you know, um, we did a whole show on sleep hygiene and, uh, and this applies to gamers too. At some point when, you, when you're getting close to bedtime, you got to turn everything off. You got to give your brain and eyes a break. That that mm -hmm. blue light is not only um, damaging your retina and your eyes and vision. That blue light is stimulating. There's studies that show this. Yeah. It activates parts of your brain. Um, you got to turn that stuff off, yep. Hannah, and go to bed a little earlier, Hannah. Poor Hannah. We love you, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So melatonin be great. And then just, how about just a basic multi? Don't forget about so. some of the basics. Um, especially the gamers. In, we're talking to the gamers now who game for a living, who have the millions of followers on uh, Twitch and all of these gaming platforms. I don't see them eating. And some of them game like 24 hours or longer. They go on these gaming sprees and people mm. watch them just get delirious and... Yeah, so you take a multi-nutrient mm. <laughs> just so that you make about, sure you're getting about, enough nutrients. How about, how about take a break? Well, Look, turn, turn I, off, there's, there's the... no taking breaks when you're making millions of dollars. Not true. There's <laughs> always time for a break. Not when your fans are watching you. They they want to watch you crash out. We don't want you to I, crash I, you out. Know, and that's probably some of it, too. <laughs> they're not just watching them. and They're kind of waiting to where they get silly and delirious. Because then it gets funny. All right. Um, let's talk a little bit, uh, kind of wrapping this up. Um, energy. This is something yeah. you know. Speaking of the, you know the picture you mm -hmm. just drew, um, you, you know they, they must be getting tired. They try to keep energy levels up. What's your overall thought um, about this? Well, one is try to have some healthy snacks <laughs> next to your computer or yes, wherever Mom. you're gaming. Yes, mom. Uh, I like popcorn. Popcorn's a nice, healthy, healthy snack. Popcorn's um, fine. I mean, just don't dump nothing, butter no on it. No simple it. Ooh, carbs butter. because we talk about crashing out. That will make yeah. you crash. That will impact your game. 
Um, and we, although we know that the stress of gaming makes you want more sugar, yeah. more carbs, we see that in research. Um, so I, I would say try to have some whole grains around um, yeah. and try not to well, eat those simple carbs. A lot of the um, gamers are doing the energy drinks that contain taurine. And that's not a bad thing. We taurine can be helpful. Mm-hmm. Taurine is good for energy production, ATP mm-hmm. production, great for uh, cardio protection, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't. I don't know how much taurine though is in those energy drinks because I know a key dose for taurine is about five thousand milligrams to really get the effect. I don't think there's that much in those in those energy drinks. It, it all depends on which ones you're you're looking at, and and some of them you're drinking them all day (laughs) so maybe they do get (laughs) but so yes the the taurine if you're going to have some type of energy drink with caffeine look for the taurine that's the that's a nice combination to combine those two but just know that you have this moment where caffeine can tip you over the edge oh yeah and kind of make your game suffer a little bit yes so it'll yeah there's there's a threshold Right. Where caffeine and taurine can help you have good reaction time. Mm -hmm. Too much, it's going to decrease that time because you're you're jittery, in a sense. Right. You want that calm energy. Uh, Theanine combined with the caffeine can help with that, where you're you're laser focused. You are you have your attention there, but you're still calm and you can make some good rational decisions during your game. Yeah. So generally speaking, when to take some of these nutrients, most of these, um, especially if you're doing ones for cognitive function, that kind of stuff. Be careful about taking those too much, too late in the day because that might affect sleep. Mm-hmm. Although some of the nootropic ones, like choline, they did take pretty pretty close to, to the time to game. So you just got to find that balance mm-hmm. um, uh, for you. Uh, and uh, honestly, it, it, these, these are safe nutrients, um, especially the multi, the D, uh, you know, like the arginine. Those are things you can take every day. Like yeah. just make that part of your daily routine, not just your stack. <laughs> yes. Hey, for more information, um, you, know, you know, more studies, more information about these nutrients, uh, Life Extension has a great article. Just go to lifeextension.com slash gamers and you can check that out. Great information. Uh, let us know if that was helpful. Um, leave a comment. Uh, um, you, you know, wherever you listen to this, if you're on YouTube, leave us a comment and tell us a little bit about what your stack is and yes, if this and was if you, helpful. If you like our show, give us a review as well. Yeah. Hey, don't forget, you go to liveforeverish.com. We got tons of other podcasts for you to download, like, and share. But make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you never miss a show. And our sponsor, Life Extension at lifeextension.com, wants to say thank you for being such a great audience you go there shop around when you check out put in the discount code podcast and you'll get 10 percent off 50 dollars more plus free shipping and handling uh i'm dr mike that is dr crystal thanks for listening